Hello guys. Uh, today in this video we will discuss about the importance of a PE license in civil consulting industry. Uh, so as you can also see from the title of this video. So before I before I just tell about the benefits of a PE license what I would like to also say that this is just my personal experience okay so you might agree with some of the points you might disagree with some of the points so I would like to have a healthy conversation engage into a healthy conversation in the comment section whatever your views are all right which comments which points you feel is right which you think is not right that is fine I'm open to listening your views also also i have like six years of professional experience in the industry i have like worked in three organizations so far both i have worked spent a few amount of time in even in the government a public sector uh, and the rest in the private uh, organizations all right and before that i had like two years of if you consider that like two years i was working as an ra in my masters and i worked on many consulting projects even in that tenure so what I have noticed is like if you have a PE that reflects in your pay like you get more pay if you have a PE some employers tend to give an immediate raise to their employees who just finished just get their PE right uh, even if you don't get an immediate raise what I have seen like let's say in two years down the line your pay increases significantly or in case if you compare it with somebody who doesn't have a PE right so your pay will increase a lot more in two years time if when you get your PE done all right if, even if it doesn't happen immediately but some employers they do it also like the second benefit that I see in a PE if you have a PE the second benefit that I see you will get more promotions in your career like without a PE the career in civil consulting industry start to stagnate after a certain point of time this is from my personal observations I have seen people in three organizations I noticed it that the, after a certain point of time the people who do not have a P their career starts to stagnate okay so with a because the reason being is that let's you are the manager of a company of a big organization you are the manager of a team but at the end of the day you have to sign the project you are leading a team yes you know how to do the work for sure you have survived in the industry for such a long time uh, but still you you have the leadership capability also let me let me assume yes you have the leadership capability you know how to do the work but at the same time you have to sign the project for the client when you submit it to a client you are the you are the leader you need to so you need to sign it but and that time if you do not have the PE license you are not eligible to sign the document so basically that what it transpires to is like companies don't push people into managerial roles or leadership roles if they do not have a PE they do not like to do that right also because you have to because companies also have to create that impression that in in the clients minds that we we have a solid team lead it and the leader is leader have all the credentials that are requ required in a civil industry all right also what I have seen is like let's say you have five years experience six years experience four years experience whatever you want to switch employers right it helps a lot while switching employers also because the employer potential employers they find you more credible they find you they find your ability they can trust your ability more let's let's put it that way yes for sure you you have as i said before you have survived in the industry for a long time they know you can do the work but i'm saying they prefer it when you have a pe when and you have let's say more years of experience so even while switching companies it helps a lot when you have a pe and also let me the at the last point which i can think of is like let's say you are in a more specialized domain let's say you are in traffic engineering all right uh, which is a which is which is a specialized domain in transportation engineering so we have exams like ptoe which is a specialized licensor just in traffic engineering but even to sit in that exam you need to clear pe the basic criteria to sit in the exam is you have cleared your PE all right so so these are the five reasons which I can think of more pay you get more pay your you get more promotions in your career if you have a PE your careers do not stagnate and uh, which happens most of the times if you do not have a PE 
you it helps a lot while switching companies all right and in some specialized domains like traffic which we have a ptoe exam i think in other domains they do have such exams also but i'm not sure but in traffic we have so for that the basic eligibility is to clear a pe all right but still it's not pto is not like a must for traffic engineers but that is for another topic but for sure it's a preferred one and let's see from the other side of the spectrum why employers prefer people to have their have a pe why employers prefer their employees to have a pe so the reason is number one is as i said in the beginning only it you are eligible to sign documents so which is a big plus for the employers but let's say you are, you are in a large corporation you know you have five six years of experience or seven eight years of experience you need not sign the document at that point of time because you have people in your organization with 15 year 20 year experience who are leading the team who can sign the document then why do employers need a five year experience guide to have a pe i mean somebody can ask you irrespective of pay raise and stuff like that it helps them while bidding the project like when they bid the project they can show to the client that we have a solid team which consists of let's say four pe's to PTOE and and to FE past EIT, so we they kind of build that portfolio. They can project it in front of the client in a in a in a better way, right? They look good basically while building a project. So that's why uh, they do prefer people to have a PE, and also to uh, to be very honest like they get some but let's the manager will get a little bit of confidence on your academic technical ability right because he he will get he will understand that you are getting those codes right you are understanding it and then you can design so basically it gives a sense of calmness a ease to the manager so these are what my what my point of view is why a pe is a must for civil engineers in civil consulting industry I would like to know your opinion. Please let me know in your comments. And we in this uh, in this channel we will also discuss a lot about PE, PTOE, FE, and such interesting contents. And more interesting, more is useful contents in civil engineering which are really needed. Uh, we will discuss all those things. Uh, so we like you to subscribe our channel, like our videos, okay, share our videos so that we can reach more people, okay. Uh, who are who who needs this information so having said that thank you so much i uh, hope you have a great rest of the day take care bye